Hello and welcome to Battle of Heavyweights VLOOKUP versus Some Ifs Round 1. Ladies and gentlemen, to my left wearing red trunks, the undisputed heavyweight champion of all XL lookup functions, VLOOKUP. And to my right, the challenger in blue trunks, Some Ifs. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. Let's go to round one. Now, uh, we're going to have many rounds, and the idea is to explore the differences between VLOOKUP and some ifs so that we know when and where and how and which workbooks to use either of these amazing functions. All right, so um, in each round, we're going to do the same task twice, once with each function. So, first, let's get started with VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. Go find uh, the account wages. Uh, and we want to find it in the table that is called table one. We want to return the amount, the amount's in the one, two, three, third column, and zero for exact match. Close function and enter. And we get wages 5022. Wages 5022 looks good, but then, hmm, we notice there are multiple rows with wages. So what does this tell us about VLOOKUP? It tells us that it returns the first match and then stops. Right? And if we were to fill this function down or this formula down, we would see that postage 3214, postage 3214, and we notice there are multiple rows. Okay, so the point of this is what? VLOOKUP stops at the first match, right? Let's see about some ifs, equals some ifs. We want to go add up the amount column, but we only want to include those rows where the account column is equal to our account, close function, enter. Interesting. 15379, wages, wages, 15379. So what does this tell us about some ifs? This tells us that it returns the sum of all matching rows. So the point of round one and the first key difference is what happens when there are multiple rows. VLOOKUP stops returns the first one. Sum ifs returns the sum of all matching rows. So the way that we're going to score this entire you know, series is, is this. Uh, we're going to use a standard boxing 10-point system. Right? And so what that means is the winner of the round gets 10 points. And the function that did not win the round is going to get nine points. Unless they're knocked out, then they're going to get eight points. In other words, if they can still do that task, maybe with the help of a helper function, then they get nine points. Otherwise, if they're knocked out, they get eight. So in this round one, we award some ifs 10 points, the winner of the round. Why? Because in practice, if this was the kind of project I'm working on, I'm going to go with some ifs. Why? Because it returns the sum of all matching rows. Okay? VLOOKUP is knocked down, so it gets eight points for this round. But don't worry, VLOOKUP fans, and I'm a VLOOKUP fan too. We have many more rounds to go. All right? So, hey, thanks a lot. Hope this was fun. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.